वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव एडेड द डैशवर्ड होम पेज यू आई सी दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड दिस वन एंड वी हैव क्रिएटेड सब बार नेविगेशन बार एंड दिस सम डमी क्रिएट फोल्डर्स एंड क्रिएट फाइल्स डमी फोल्डर्स एंड फाइल्स यू सो प्रॉपर फाइल्स आर दीज सो इट इज़ फैचिंग द फोल्डर्स एंड यू कैन सी दैट दीज आर डबल क्लिकेबल so when user will double click on the folder it will open the folder and when user will double click on the file it will open the file so we have created folders created files and uploaded files here so to store information about these files we need the database so as we are using firebase for the authentication so as a database also we are going to use firebase so for that uh, we will be using the cloud firestore so it is a very real time firebase here uh, real time uh, database so we are going to use this so uh, what we are going to do today so today we are going to enable the cloud firestore and then we are going to create the dummy collections and dummy documents so one collection will be there for all the files one collection will be there for all the files and one will be for the folders so two collections will be there so one will be for the folders and second will be for the files so in the files there are two types of file so two types of file will be there first created files and uploaded files so uploaded files will have the url and it will not be having any data but created files will be having the data it is it will be not having any url so this will be just the difference and then for the folders we will be having the collections and it will be also mentioned there like what is a path of the folder and same will be applicable for the file what is a path of the file as we can create files under subfolders as well so now without wasting any time let's get into the firebase console and let's see uh, about the sample document so sample collection and sample document then we will move forward to the next video in the next video we will start from the creating folder so let's first of all create the dummy folder dummy documents for our database so here we are under the console here and you can see that this is our project that is file management system and here let's create a cloud firestore Uh, so i'm going to click on the firestore so just click on create database and for now we are going to start this database in the test mode so whenever we are going to work it work with this then we are going to set the rules for this database after that so simply click on next and choose any location simply click on enable so it will provision as the cloud firestore and we will uh, start working on the firestore now you can see that our cloud firestore is created successfully now here we are going to create two uh, two collections so first of all let's create a collection for the folders so here i will write docs here so instead of docs let's write folders this time and then we are going to create first document so we have to create first dummy document so here i will write a name as test name so document name will be test name so uh, this will be by default uh, i mean for just for the testing purpose and then here we need some fields so first of all what will be the field here so first of all we uh, need the name we need the name of the folder so let it be test folder and then simply click on add field so then here uh, we have we need that what is the path of the folder so we need the path of the folder and also we need the location of the folder so first of all let's write the location so what is the location of the folder so you can see that so when i will go to the root folder so its location is at the root so i am changing the folder 
I am uh, coming in the new folder and then you can see that we have two folders here. Two subfolders are there. Then their location is room slash new folder or just a new folder. So just a new folder is there or instead of location, we will be writing parent. So what is the parent of that folder? So here we will be writing like root. So root is the parent and then here we need the path. So what is the path here? So we need the path and then in the path, so path will be array. So path will be array. So here what we need first. So first of all, we need two things here. So in the array, we need two things. Uh, so here, uh, let it be an object. So we will be writing the array of object. So here will be the array. So in the array, we will change to a map. So here we will be having the map and then we will be having the two fields here. So first of all, uh, you can see that we are under the root folder. So it's a location will be. So first of all, here we will write the parent. So what is the parent? And then by default, the parent will be none. So it will be default like it is in the root folder. So parent is the root. And then what is the second location here? So means this will be the root uh, that is name. So that will be root. So root will be there first of all. And then uh, we will be not having anything here. So now you can see that we have the path. So first of all, the parent element is nothing for the path and the name is root. So after the root, there will be our this test folder. So this is will be the path here. And now here we need created at. So what will be the created at and it will be having the timestamp. So let it be today's time. And then updated at and let it be today's time only. And then the last thing last assessed, last assessed. So at what time we have last assessed this folder? So this thing will be there. Just click on the save button. So this will be our first test document here. So uh, let me show you. So this is our original Firebase and here we have the docs here. So you can see that we have created at created by last SS. So we have the name sub subfolder. So what is the subfolder? So subfolder first of all path is from the new folder. So from the new folder, there is a subfolder. So if it is at the root, then we will not be having path here. So if it is at the root, so let me show you if there is any document. So you can see that uh, it is not having any parent and the path is null here. So we can uh, make its path as null as well. So let me delete this. So that will be very good if we will make this path as null. So its parent, so parent will be root. So we can uh, write it like that. The parent will be root here only. So root will be there as a parent. So now let's create a doc collection for the files. So files will be having the same type of thing. Just two parameters mode will be there. So let's see about that. So let's create for the files here. So here I will be creating a new collection for the files. Files and now click on next. So here we will create a test created file. So here first of all we will create for a created file. So first of all there will be a name for file. So name will be like test created file. And then there will be a parent. So what is a parent? So let it be on the root. So parent will be like root here. And then we need what is the data. So as it is a created file, so here will be our test data. So test data will be there. So here we will be having the test created file dot txt. 
so we will be having the extension as well uh, as well here so let me remove this so here in the name we will not add the extension so we will add the new field as extension here so we will do little different thing here so in the you can see that in the previous one in the original one so when we will go to the files here for the created files we have the name here index.txt so their extension is mentioned but now whenever we are going to do something here so here we are going to uh, make this extension different so we will uh, make this extension different here so for that let's write the extension here txt so txt will be their extension so dot txt so let's remove the dot and then here we need the url as this is a created file it is having the data so that's why its url will be null and then we need the path so path will be there as it is on the root so parent is root here so that's why there will not be any a path so there will not be a path here so path will be null and it will be a array so by default it will be null so after the path we need created at so created at here we need the timestamp today's date this one and updated at it will be a timestamp and then last assess last assessed and it will be a timestamp so same thing we will do and uh, this thing only we need just click on save file so you can see that we have this type of data for that and the same thing we will create for the new document so let's add a new document here so new document here will be test uploaded file so first of all we need the name so name will be like test uploaded file and here there will be a parent so let a parent will be root and then there we need the path so let the path will be null because it is under the root and then we need the parent parent is there then we need the data so as it is downloaded file so we don't have any data here and then we will be having the url so let any random url like http slash slash example.com slash uh, file dot txt so just like that and at last we will be having created at so created at will be a timestamp and then we will be having updated at updated at and it will be having a timestamp and the last one we will be having the last assessed so last assessed will be having the timestamp just click on save so these are the dummy files that we are going to create so this will be our structure of that so you can say that this will be our structure of the documents so for today this is enough if you have any queries please comment in one section i will definitely respond to that in the next video we are going to create 
folder here. So user can click on create folder and it, this will open and user can create a folder. So here this type of document will be created with the ID. So created with the ID. So here one more thing we have to do here. So you can see that here we have to add one field. So that will be created by. So that thing we forgot. So created by will be the name of the user. So that will be here. I'm writing the admin. So created by admin and then created by admin will be there and then created user ID. So here we will be having the user ID. So let it be test user. So test user ID is there. So these two things also we need here. So same for the files we will be doing for that. So here will be created by created by will be admin and then user id user id will be test user id so test created file here created by admin and then test created uh, here will be user id so user id will be test user id so this thing uh, is there so it will also get to know about that like who created this file here or this folder or who uploaded this folder like this so if, if you like this video then please like it subscribe our channel if you are new so at last thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.